Hi everyone, so we are Team Changer. We have myself, Hamza Sheikh, Fergus Lemon, Mahmoud Hussein, Raju Asandai, and Samuel Overloop. We worked together over two weeks to build a mobile app called Changer. The original idea was to develop something that homeless people could use to accept donations online, not only because these days people carry less change around with them, but also to allow homeless people to save money, give them an online identity, and potentially allow donors to restrict what their donations could be spent on, such as on clothes, shelter, and food, etc. Moving on to the technologies that we used, helping the less advantaged in our society using mobile technology and hardware called estimate beacons, more of that later, came with a whole set of challenges. As the idea depends heavily on mobile, we decided to go native and built it within Xcode using Swift, Apple's new open source language for developing iOS apps. But if learning a completely new strong type language and building an app in a new environment is not enough of a challenge, Building this app using test-driven development when documentation is scarce, examples few, and TDD not part of the iOS culture really gave us something to do. To give an example, our app uses Firebase, an interactive real-time database, to provide our clients with instant updates. Not bad, right? Well, try mocking the entire framework for user integration tests. As much of a struggle as this was to us, we, we managed to get there in the end. Lastly, as for the donations and payments, we had achieved this using the PayPal API. Okay, so we're now going to demo some of the main features of the app, starting with signing up. When you first start the app, it requires permission to send notifications and access location services, and you'll understand why in a minute. There are two types of users, and first we have Arthur signing up as a donor, and it's as simple as tapping in your email, password, and then tapping the sign up button, which redirects you to the homepage. The second type of user is the receiver of donations, and once we go through the same process of inputting email and password, we are then prompted to complete a profile for the receiver, in this case Marianne. First, and most importantly, we have to assign a beacon to her. Now, beacons are small devices that send a continuous, unique signal over Bluetooth that a nearby phone can just pick up. So what we do is that we are currently now finding the range of beacons nearby and then we simply select a beacon we want to assign and then that's now assigned to the receiver. All that's left is inputting the personal details, selecting a profile picture and then we're done with the profile page. So at this point, we can now see all the pages of the app, including the profile page with the amount of donations received, uh, a settings page, and also a resources page. And at this point, I'd like to also point out that, as mentioned before, this is a fully native iOS app built in using Swift and Xcode, which is easily the bigger challenge uh, for us since none of us had ever worked with such technologies before. Okay, so thanks to the beacon you just saw, this sends a custom notification to someone's iPhone showing the name of the receiver that you just walked past. You can then swipe the notification open and then tap on the view profile button, which then directs you to the profile page of the receiver, at which point you can then enter an amount to donate, in this point uh, after entering £2. We're now using the PayPal API where you can then log into your PayPal account and then once signed in you can then simply select how you wish to pay. And in this case we're going to pay by MasterCard and then you simply tap on the pay button. We imagine that development and deployment of the app would be done in collaboration with charities. They would control the registration of the beacons and make sure the received donations go straight to the interested party. As this app, it makes donations on the fly using a location aware app. It can be easily extended to buskers or even places of worship. So as you can imagine, there won't be any more rubbishing in your pockets for change to put in the collection bowl. Now just to show some extra features of the app, a donor can actually log in and see a history of the donations that they've recently made showing you know, how much they've donated and on what date they also donated on. Um, they could also even see a list of receivers that they've even walked past and like before they could then visit the person's profile page again and then even have the option to make another day donation. So you, as you can imagine, this is a nice little feature because it allows a donor uh, to make a donation at a later stage if they choose at the point of walking past someone not to make a donation. As for the receiver, they can also log in and see a history of their donation that they received, um, detailing how much they received and who they received it from. And they can also go onto their profile page and then see their updated balance.